Hey everybody, what's up? Gary Simon here. So now today we have another edition of the UI UX workshop and it's basically a very quick process where I show you my thoughts in terms of improving the UI and or the UX of certain user submitted designs in my Discord server. So here are the three that we're gonna be working with today. Um, this is the very first one. There's some alignment and topography issues. So this is gonna be kind of a quicker fix. And the next one we have here is a uh, web developer portfolio, uh, the, the hero section, and there's some typography and alignment issues here that I don't necessarily like. And this is gonna be pretty quick and I actually have two variations uh, for this one. And then finally, the one that's gonna take a lot uh, of work is improving this right here for a food company or a restaurant. And this is gonna be really fun because you get to see my process for drastically revamping a design. Um, and I also as well come up with two variations for the layout. So as always, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Before we begin, this video is sponsored by Linode. Now as a front-end developer or a designer, you know that you need a personal portfolio. And if you use a website builder like Wix or Squarespace, they lack total customization and they lock you into using their platform. But to be a pro, you need to use the tools that the pros actually use. So level up, start building your own projects and your own portfolio on an enterprise level content management system like WordPress or Drupal. Now, real web development sometimes requires knowledge of spinning up servers, managing domain names, and setting up an occasional staging environment. And there's no better or simpler way to learn the ins and outs of hosting your website than with Linode Cloud Hosting. Linode Cloud Hosting makes it as easy as possible for you to deploy a WordPress or Drupal website in seconds with a free Linode one-click app marketplace. So click on the very top link here in the YouTube description to get get your free Linode account along with $20 of free hosting and all the tools that you need to build enterprise class websites. This particular example has potential as the icon designs are pretty nice and the contrast is decent, but the alignment of the type elements are all out of whack. So the biggest issue with this design is the alignment of the type that's situated in the left column. When you have this type of two column layout, it almost never looks good when you center the text in the right or left column you need to either left or right justify the text. Now, I also decide to make the call to action stand out a bit more by using a color found in the illustration. Now there's a lot of ways to approach this type of layout, so I do another one just to show another common approach where you take a real large illustration and kind of situate it off to the very right edge or the very left edge of the browser. This one lacks two things in my opinion, typography and quite frankly, it's just a bit bland. So here I start off by recreating the header and navigation. The navigation links are way too spread out over the original design, so I'm situating them closer together but also moving them over to the right to establish the very right edge of the layout's container. Now next up, I don't know about you, but that big A is rather boring. So I'm making a big watermark out of a capitalized A to give it texture and then I'm going to situate a lowercase a on top of it. Then finally, the main type and the letter spacing is way too large. There's few instances in which such large letter spacing ever looks good in typography. So I'm gonna be fixing that, as well as removing the borders and opting for a more modern approach of highlighting words and redoing a quick call to action. This next example has a number of issues that I'm simply going to revamp from the ground up with my own style of design. So when I think of restaurants and food, I think of awesome photographs that make you want to eat there. That's why having a professional photographer is so important in these cases so that the designer has access to a variety of photos to choose from. Now here I'm opting for a two column style layout similar to the original. One problem with the original is that the blue border between the headline type uh, it just doesn't look good. So I'm opting to keep things a bit more simple there. 
I also think the little thumbnails for the different foods they offer were too small on the original. And I do change the large photograph in the right column because it wasn't contrasting well with the thumbnails. But for the rest of the des this design here, I'm simply experimenting with the layout positioning and I do create a second variation of the layout. This is always important because by just experimenting with the positioning of various elements, you can stumble upon a layout option that really works well. Alright, so hopefully you enjoyed that and hopefully you agree with me that the revamps that I did are better than the original. Uh, if there's something I left out that you think I should improve or whatever, let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.